What? <laughs> it's very narrow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you can see my book here. So what? Uh, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Hi everybody. Thanks for tuning in. So this is our first uh, video log. Yeah. We were uh, thinking of doing it way earlier, but you know, traveling is higher on our list than recording stuff, and we were so busy you know, moving from one place to another, meeting people, talking to people uh, every time we had a lack of time and we didn't feel like doing it. But now we're exactly two months on the road. That means we left 1st of June and it's the 1st of August today. So after exactly two months, we thought uh, maybe it's a good time to uh, uh, have some uh, um, talk about what we did last two months. We have a couple of days of rest now. We're staying at some friend's place near Sheffield and we're pretty much at ease. We have everything we want here. We can do some laundry and we have some time to make a, a video log. So, two months ago, today, we left, we left for Czech Republic. We were invited to a wedding um, at a friend's place. I mean, used to be a punk biker uh, place, but the guy and I became friends, so we were invited to his wedding. We left in the morning very early after a late night with Agatha's uh, family and uh, a small party, which turned out to be a big party. So in the morning we were pretty, you know, um, how, do you, how do you call that? Like very uh, uh, woozy, woozy. And uh, so, we left very early because we needed to be 10.30 in Czech Republic uh, for the surprise wedding. So uh, a very small detail, we left early, we were not awake yet and I forgot to close one of my panniers. So after six kilometers on the highway, it opened and I lost my uh, cover. I didn't lose it, but the locks were broken. So um, that was like after six kilometers, like after five minutes, the first uh, sight uh, road repair we had to do. Luckily, Abduro uh, sent us uh, the spare parts uh, later, so we could I could fix uh, the stuff uh, that was broken. So after the wedding, we decided to go to Easy Meeting. That was our next appointment. Let's say our schedule, which afterwards we decided not to have any more, any more schedules, any more appointments. But still, I will tell you later about it. We did it again and made another appointment. <coughs> but anyway, up to easy meeting. Very nice meeting, adventurers uh, from all over the world, but especially from Poland. If you once have the opportunity to go there, you surely must do that. It's a very nice meeting. We met a lot of old friends there, uh, but also some new friends. For example, Katinka, a Dutch girl traveling solo on her uh, motorbike. Uh, very nice. Uh, we even met her in UK again. Uh, for this appointment that we didn't want to make. So after three days of easy meeting and having a lot of talks and a lot of memories come back, we set off to Germany. We decided to first do the that in Germany. They told us like it's very boring, it's most of the time it's road, but on the other hand, the uh, east, uh, northeast of the Tet in Germany is actually pretty off-road and very nice tracks. Also very, very nice spots to uh, wild camp. Good. After the German part, first part was really beautiful. Second part was a bit more boring and we did a lot of road because we needed to be in Belgium. We wanted to be in Belgium uh, where uh, I could meet up with some old friends again and say goodbye to them, finally. We already said a couple of times goodbye to them because of the previous times that we wanted to leave or leave for the world trip, uh, but we were held back by a uh, uh, number of uh, reasons. So off to Belgium, meeting old friends uh, and meeting my family to say goodbye. Good. Then we decided to go to uh, France to take the, the uh, ferry from uh, Calais to uh, Dover. 
we decided to look for places to stay and found this very interesting uh, Facebook page uh, J'irai dormir chez un un motard. It's a kind of bunker biker uh, Facebook page, uh, but especially for the French part, uh, for France actually. Um, and it's very, it's a lot of people and very friendly people. We met some very nice people there uh, where we could stay. Actually, that day was like pouring rain, so we were glad we could uh, sleep inside and get our stuff dry. So the crossing to Dover was very nice, very peaceful. The ferry was very quiet and we had a lot of space to sit down and there was, you know, it was a really relaxing uh, crossing. Uh, then we arrived in uh, uh, UK and we went to stay at the Banker Biker's place. It was a very nice uh, farm. We could put up tent in the, uh, in the, let's say, in the garden uh, between the alpacas and uh, the goats, and, and it was a really nice uh, place to stay. Also very quiet. After that, we uh, uh, continued, and we went to visit some friends. Actually, the ones were here now uh, uh, near Sheffield, yeah? because we had a second appointment uh, for ABR uh, festival. Yeah? The second appointment. Of which we said to ourselves no appointments anymore um, so we decided first to stay near Sheffield and then go back down uh, south in UK to go to ABR meeting so we did we went to ABR meeting it was a very nice festival we were a bit not disappointed but it was not our thing it was pretty big and a lot of people and very commercial so it was fun we met some people we met some new people some old friends uh, one of the bunker bikers that stayed at our place uh, we accidentally met there so it was a very nice uh, festival very nice meeting but not our thing a bit too big but anyway fun after that we decided to go down to the south of England and start at the uh, south um, uh, west of England and visit some national parks. So we did almost all of them. Uh, like there's there's like uh, the Peak District, Dartmoor, Exmoor. I need to you know read a bit from the book because all those names. Uh, Exmoor, the Brecon Beacons, uh, Snowdonia, very beautiful. So we went down uh, south uh, west and we got up again um, uh, till uh, Holyhead. Yeah? Why? Because we wanted to cross first to Ireland. Because of one of the reasons we did it again, we made a new appointment. Crossing UK, we stayed at Sue, also a bunk biker place. And she was in the organization of a meeting, all female. Uh, motorbike riders so they wanted to uh, make an attempt to break the world record the biggest amount of female uh, motorbikers so we promised her to be there because Agatha of course was uh, would be one more to the count so we decided to do that so we first went to Ireland uh, we toured in Ireland and then crossed back uh, to UK so for Ireland it was very beautiful very beautiful um, we did actually the whole tour of Ireland, um, the coastline, and then we did the Wild Atlantic uh, Way. A very nice, very nice route. If you ever get there, uh, it's really worth uh, going there and uh, visiting all the places. Beautiful, really beautiful. But we decided then not to do North Island, but to cross uh, the, let's say, the border with North Island uh, back down to Holyhead, uh, to Dublin, to cross to Holyhead again. Yeah? Because we had this next appointment, which we, you know, told ourselves not to make anymore, but still, it was worth it. So we went to this uh, uh, bikers meeting, female bikers meeting, um, and spent uh, the day there. It was very nice. We even decided to make an article on it uh, for the Road of Adventure. Uh, so in a couple of months you'll be able to read about it and to uh, watch a small video that we made on it. Um, really uh, worth uh, taking a look. So after the meeting uh, we were a bit like, you know, tired and because running from left to right uh, and actually chasing a schedule. 
which we told ourselves we wouldn't do anymore, but still. Uh, but I guess now we're at the end of the schedule, so we can have more time and we can take it more easy. So after this meeting, um, we decided that uh, we needed a break because my bike was leaking. You know? And I needed really to do some work on it. Uh, I wanted to have it fixed before we uh, cross to Africa. The leakage was pretty was pretty okay, it was not too much, uh, but still, so it doesn't give a good feeling. So I decided to fix the bike before uh, we were leaving for, uh, uh, we would be leaving for Africa. So we could stay again at Sue's place um, uh, and use her garage and her tools. I planned for two days there, but finally it became three because of the, you know, it was a pretty heavy job and not easy. So. We sticked around for three days there um, uh, up till the bike was fixed. Then we decided to go up uh, uh, north again um, to visit Scotland. So now we're having some days of rest. I'm waiting for some tires to be delivered uh, and then we can, can move on uh, to Scotland. So, because you're very quiet here, uh, so, how, what was your impression about the, the female biker meeting? It was definitely worth going there. Um, it was amazing to see that many different bikes, that many different women gathering in one place. Um, and I was very happy to add to the total count. And actually, yes, the record was broken. Yeah, for me it was a very strange feeling. Normally I go to motorbike meetings and it's all men, or most of it. And then when there's one or two women on a motorbike, you say, whoa. But there it was the opposite. You know, it was all women and some men. There were... Still a lot. Yeah, there were still a lot, but still, it's a, it's a strange feeling. It's, it, it's, but it's nice. It's very nice. It's very nice. Uh, and they, they were also saying about, you know, expanding the event and trying to get it worldwide. And so I think it's a very good idea. It can be. Yeah. But we'll see. Anyway, if we can help them or support them or whatever, uh, we will. It's uh, very nice people there. So, let's say to finalize, because we cannot make it too long either. Uh, otherwise you will get bored watching us so to give a general impression we're very much enjoying the trip yeah so it's pretty busy um, that means we have to break up camp every day we have to put up camp every day cooking every day it's intense it's very intense uh, Agatha makes the roads every day the tracks every day so it's it's some work some people think like yeah traveling it's fun it's holiday it's fun that's for sure but it's not holiday. You're busy the whole day and night thinking about the next day, thinking about the small problems you have. It's not that easy. Uh, some days are more difficult too. Both of us get sometimes grumpy, you know, when we're hungry, when we're tired, especially crossing cities. It's very, very tiring here in the UK. It's busy and, and you know, driving on the left, it, it asks, asks a, a lot of concentration. So. It's, it's tiring and then some days it's a bit too much and then we get a bit grumpy but it's always like one evening and next morning everything's forgotten and it's a new day so in general we're very much enjoying the trip um, we're very lucky with the weather we only had a couple of days uh, of rain so uh, to be honest in UK uh, and Ireland uh, we were very lucky very lucky good so Thank you very much for watching. You, you have something more to add? Yeah, just subscribe and support the ADV Hoppers if you can. Yeah, it would mean a lot to us. You know, it's also, it would push me a bit more maybe to make more of those video logs and... Uh, and better ones. Yeah, and better ones. First one is always first one. <laughs> okay, so thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.